Hey everyone, welcome back to Makeup with Mama G. Today we are going to be doing a Rihanna inspired look using Afterglow Cosmetics. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to prime our eyes like we always do. I'm going to use Afterglow's Organic Aloe Concealer in Light. This concealer, it's like liquid and then when you spread it out it kind of feels sticky which is what I like because it helps the pigment stay onto the eyes. So I'm just going to dab this because the pump, it didn't come with the pump. So I just dab it and then with my finger I'm just going to blend it out evenly. Now this is going to neutralize all the blemishes on my eyes as well as acting as a base. So it's kind of two for one kind of thing. So all I'm doing is blending with my finger. It's great using your finger guys because the warmth from your finger totally mixes with the concealer and just gets it to the right temperature and spreads it out evenly over the lid. So Okay, now that we're done with that, we're going to take Tempt. It's a really pretty, I want to call it like a brick red. It's not really red though, it's just like a really brick color. And it has gold specks in it, so it's really, really pretty. I'm going to spray a little bit of the organic color lock into the lid. It's kind of like a Mac Fix Plus. It's a mixing medium. This one's kind of sticky as well. Then I'm going to take some of that eyeshadow with the eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to mix it in the lid. So that way it turns into like a pasty consistency. This is just going to intensify the eyeshadow. I'm going to add a little bit more. So now that that's all done, I'm going to apply this onto the entire lid. I'm just going to spread it all out like so. I'm going to bring it above the lid. I'm going to bring it here in the tear duct area and just drag it upwards. And then this is where I'm going to shape it. I'm just going to take the edge of the brush, create a line, just bring that color up. Now I'm just making sure that it's blended evenly all over the lid. Now again, using my finger, while it's still a little wet, I'm just going to blend out the edges so that way they don't look so harsh and all I'm doing is just using little sweeping motions and it's just going to take out those harsh lines. You don't want to have harsh lines. This look is really soft and really blended out and you know the main point of this look is the eyeliner. So I'm just going to make sure it's all blended out on the lid as well. And there we go. Alright, so now that we're done with that, we're going to take the blending brush, the one with the nice point on it. I'm going to pick up cashmere. Yeah, cashmere. Whatever's in the lid, I'm going to um, pay attention to putting some on the point because we're going to put it in the tear duct area first. And so I'm just going to dab it into the tear duct area because I want that kind of highlighted color in the tear duct area so that way our eyes look a lot more open and then I'm going to drag the color upwards you want to make sure you just blend you want this to be a very soft look so make sure you blend 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 and then I'm going to pick some more from the jar tap it off into the lid and we're going to apply this right where the brow bone is Now you can't really see this color, but it has it's, it has gold specks in it. All three of these colors have gold specks, so these colors go great together. Now this is then we're going to take suede. It's a pretty brown with gold specks in it. I'm going to take whatever's in the lid, just mixing it, and then I'm going to apply this to the crease. It's a very very soft brown. We don't want to have the crease too dramatic because it's a very blended look. So I'm starting on the outer part and I'm just going to lightly blend it across. 
the brush is, you know, barely touching my lid. I'm going to kind of look upwards. When you guys look upwards, you can feel where your eye socket is. And that's where you want the crease line to be. So I'm just blending it all out. So now that we're done blending everything out, we're going to line the eyes. I'm going to be using Gravity Eyeliner. And all I'm going to do is just line the entire bottom lash line. Lining my waterline, and then I'm going to kind of drag it out so that way it gets onto the lashes. Not onto the lashes, but the root of them. I'm even going to bring it to the point because Rihanna's liner came to a point at the tear duct area. And I'm just going to drag it up. And then I'm going to line as close to the lash line as I possibly can. You guys could tight line. And tight line. This is a creamy pencil, so tight lining is not really that harsh on the eyes with this pencil. Okay, so what I'm going to do to achieve that winged look like Rihanna, I'm going to start on the bottom lash line. And I'm just going to follow my line as if I were applying eyeshadow. You know when you do the little wing and you attach the bottom to the top. I'm just going to follow that line. And then I'm going to wing it up. And then I'm just going to connect that to the top lash line. I'm going to kind of thicken it up right here. And then I'm just going to line that. Now, with the angled brush, I'm just going to smudge it all out. So that way it all is even. See, this part we need to bring to a point just a little bit more. But I'm just going to smudge it all out. This we could bring out a little bit more with the brush. I love this brush for doing winged liner. And then I'm just going to continue smudging it all out. So now that we're done with the liner, I'm just going to curl my lashes and get really close to the roots of the lashes as I can. Hold it there for a couple of seconds. I'm going to do it one more time. Then I'm going to apply Onyx Mascara. It's a black mascara from Afterglow. I'm just going to start at the roots and bring it up. I'm also going to apply it on the bottom lash line. So to complete the eyes, all I'm going to do is throw some false lashes on because Rihanna had some nice, nice lashes on. I'm going to use Red Cherry number 82's. I already have the glue on them and they're ready to put on. So I'm just going to gently apply this to the lash line with my tweezers. Hopefully you guys can see this. If not, I'm sorry. So I'm just pushing it on to the lashes. Not onto lashes, but the base. So right now I'm just pushing them on so that way they dry, kind of sticking upwards. You don't want them to be all droopy because then your eyes going to look all heavy and tired. So now that I'm done with the eye makeup, I'm waiting for the glue to dry. I'm just going to apply my foundation and uh, my concealer. I'm going to use Afterglow's Organic Aloe Concealer in Light. Um, it didn't come with the pump, like I said earlier, so I'm just going to take whatever's on the cap and I'm just going to dab it in this little area because I have dark circles. And right here, because I have a little redness going on right there, and with my finger, I'm just going to dab it. You don't want to blend with your concealer. You guys want to pat it so that way it conceals your blemishes. So all I'm doing is patting it again right under the eye using really light patting motions. I am just patting it and kind of just bringing the concealer out. And as you can see, it's starting to conceal my dark circles. And I'm trying to make sure I get right under the liner. That way it blends out. So now with the edges, I'm just going to blend out the edges so that way it doesn't look so harsh. 
Then I'm going to take my Fawn um, foundation and the little Kabuki brush and I'm just going to pick up whatever's in the lid and I'm just going to buff it on with the Kabuki brush. So I'm just going to apply that all over my face. I already have it on the other side so I'm going to catch up on this side. Now that we're done with that we're going to take Smitten Blush. It's a really really light kind of rosy pink. It's definitely great for everyday wear. I'm just going to take my blush brush. I'm going to pick up whatever's in the lid. Tap the extra off. And then I'm going to start right here from the ear. And I'm going to follow this line until I get to the apples on my cheeks. So starting right here and I'm just lightly blending it down and around. Can you see that? Now my cheekbones are more defined. I got some color on the apples of my cheeks. So I need to add just a tiny bit more so that way it's even on both sides. And there we go with the blush. Now we're going to take Divine Lipstick. It's a really, really pretty pink and it has little specks of glitter in it. And I'm just going to apply that to my lips. I love this color. This totally looks just like the color that Rihanna was wearing in that picture. So after the glue dried on my eyes from the lashes, I covered any imperfections of any glue with liquid eyeliner. And I suggest for all you guys to do the same. And this is the final look, guys. I totally love this lip color. What do you guys think? I like it a lot. So... This is the final look inspired by the beautiful Rihanna. I hope you guys liked this tutorial, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.